install for Iolo Technologies Search and Recover uh, utility. Uh, this is for 5.20 uh, version. And uh, we'll just, it, it looks like it's a pretty standard type of, of install. Uh, obviously, you're going to accept, well, you should actually really, you know, look through the, the whole ULA. Uh, and if it's okay, accept it. If not, well, then you're, you're not obviously going to use the program. But anyway, so you accept the agreement. Um, we'll just do this as a, uh, well, actually, yeah, we'll just do this as a, as a limited install. I have the, the, uh, license key with, that IOLO gave me to test this with, but we'll put that in at the other part of the program. Uh, as you can see by the path, this is going on to be the, the, um, x86, it's going on to a 64-bit machine. So you just let it go into its own folder if you want, or you can direct it to wherever you want it to go. Uh, create a desktop icon, sure, why not? And uh, off you go. This is just, like I said, it's just an average install session. time. Once we're done this, then we'll we'll step through the program. Uh, this is oh, <laughs> this is one of those programs that wants to restart your computer. Well, we'll just set that for finish. Uh, no, for now, I will I will restart before we we go through the program, and we're done. Okay, when you first start up the first time, as you can see. Um, we have the evaluation screen because we didn't plug in the the license uh, during install, so we'll do that. As, as you can see, you're only allowed, I guess, three uses on the eval, um, but we'll enter in uh, my license information. Um, Being licensed. And it's doing a startup. And as you can see, it's a it's a pretty simple um, interface. You've got basically one, two, three, four, five things that you can you can do. Uh, what I what is kind of interesting is I haven't seen this done before. Is you you can obviously recover deleted files, but they separate it down to things like pictures and movies, sounds, uh, songs and sounds, emails, and then obviously the, the total recovery. Uh, if we take a look in the deleted files, you get to select which uh, disk you want to try and recover from. And they have, apparently, I guess they have their own smart scan technology to, to help, or you can do a uh, sector level search, um, but that'll take longer, obviously. Uh, but, um, and then if you go through, it, uh, it will do its scan for any results. We'll do a, a full scan in, in a minute. We're just going to walk through the different areas. Uh, it. Now let's take a look at the pictures and movies. And this one is interesting because it allows you to hook up a camera, I imagine a digital camera, and it will recover from, I don't have one so I can't, I can't do that, but uh, what you can, um, can do is select another location on examples they gave are hard drive, floppy drive, and USB flash drive. Uh, next. Um, let's, uh, you should obviously select the drive, select the options again. The options seem to be pretty standard through, through all the different areas, so we don't really need to go through each of them. Um, songs and sounds. This one you get, you can attach a music player to. Again, uh, I don't have one so it won't show up in the list. Another location is the same as with the um, 
images and pictures, hard drive, floppy disk, USB drive. Uh, once more, select the location you want to you want to scan and recover from. Um, now, emails uh, they have a very, it's actually a limited list. Um, it doesn't the only Microsoft product is is the big boy Outlook. There's no um, Outlook Express, which obviously is going away. But there's no support for Windows Live Mail or anything like that. But you've got Mozilla Thunderbird, which is which is good to see. Uh, Netscape, I don't know why, and Qualcomm's uh, Eudora, which is now uh, what open source freeware. Uh, since I I don't use Microsoft Outlook, um, even if, so if I if I select that, you'll get a warning. They can't find it, uh, or you can search for it, but I know it's not there, so I won't worry about it. Now, Total Recovery is, it allows you to select a location. You can select a complete drive or whatever, or you can select right down to a folder. And we'll just for the fun of it, we'll take blog stuff, where all my blogging design files are. Um, click next and you can select a destination folder where you want the recovered files to go to so what we'll do is we'll just we'll do the go to the temp recovery fo folder that I made select OK now here you can main you can maintain the original folder structure uh, or you can just dump all the files right into the one but well, let's just maintain the folder structure and we'll do a now if you are re recovering to the same drive that you're, you're uh, scanning, you're going to get this warning message, just so you know. Um, I don't imagine you'll have much of a problem. I think you would have a problem if you were trying to recover to the same folder you were, you were trying to scan. So we'll go yes. Uh, let's use a smart scan and next and we'll just let it do its, its scan. Doing it pretty quick. Um, okay, the recovery was done. Um, 30, 35 deleted files were found. Uh, view recovered files. What we'll do is uh, we'll pop up Explorer and we'll take a look at what was found blog stuff WordPress 3.0 WordPress VP includes JS and then we can see the various files that were recovered and that pretty well covers search and recover from IOLO. Uh, so if you're in the need, head over to IOLO.com and select search and recover from the menu and uh, see what it can do to help you recover what you got. Until next time, Stephen Hodson for WinExtra with another one of our software reviews. Good day.